Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This is Draco Thuban again and this is uh, Let's Play Super Metroid Part 3. Part 3 in our series of 100% speeder on a Super Metroid. So let's uh, get back into this thing here. Alright, last time we uh, defeated the Spore Spawn boss and uh, picked up the Charge Beam and a few more Super Missiles. So let's start heading into uh, a little bit further into Brimstar now. And there's a uh, set of missiles up here. Just takes a little wall jump to get up into that uh, that little pipe there. And coming up uh, was the uh, the bane of many uh, a super a super Metroid player uh, back in the day uh, <laughs> whenever they first started playing. Um, many people did not realize that there was a run button. And so, when you would come across that bridge there, they'd just fall down. They wouldn't know how to get past it. Um, so that's also called the uh, the noob bridge. The the noob bridge. Sorry guys, I can't really talk today. Um, I'm just getting over being pretty sick over the last couple of days. But anyway, we're gonna drop down here, shoot out those blocks. If you shoot out that block right there, there's a little frog thingy that sucks your energy. So just leave him trapped, I guess. Alright, a couple of screws up here, kill before you move on so you don't fall into the spikes, and we're going to get another uh, early item, and that's going to be the spacer. So instead of having the high jump, we're just going to wall jump up this area here, shoot through, and grab us our spacer. Alright. Now moving on. I think playing this game, that was one of the first items that I actually figured out how to get early. As soon as I figured out how to wall jump, I think I figured that one out. But uh, it's a good idea not to get trapped by those uh, guys there. They kind of hurt. All right, and we are not going to go into Norfair at all. We're going to go straight uh, across the way here. Oops. Okay, now this takes some precise jumping. Um, I can't always get it on the first try. Um, you've got to jump over and miss that ledge, but still have enough height to get over here. Um, usually you're supposed to have the high jump boots to get here, but we are skipping that for right now. got some uh, flying uh, guys there and we got some space pirates coming up here and this area should look familiar if you played the original Metroid um, this is uh, Craig's area and we've, uh, we're gonna go ahead and refill our energy here before we move on Alright, this is going to be our first major boss in the game that we're going to go ahead and take on. So, should be fun. Let's see, uh, let's see how it all turns out. Now, there is a trick um, that I have not been able to master. Uh, for this boss, you can actually kill him before he rises up. Um, I don't have the speed for it, so it's probably not going to happen. I'll give it a shot, but... Uh, I, I doubt I'll even come close to getting enough uh, super missiles in, but um, you got to shoot him with with a bunch of super missiles before he even comes up. So you got to have him open up. Yeah, see, yeah, there's not even not even close to enough. Only got one. I should have had you know probably two or three in there in order to do it. But anyway, it's possible. Alright, the, the basic point of this is uh, shoot him in, whoops, now since we don't have the high jump boot, we actually have to wall jump to get up there, so 
Let's go ahead and do that. But uh, the basic point of this fight is shoot him in the uh, eyes, and then he'll open his mouth. When he does, you shoot him in the mouth with uh, missiles or super missiles, and try not to fall to your doom. Here we go, and he's dead. And that gets us the various suit. Allowing us to be able to take up to extreme temperatures, which will let us get through Norfair without taking a whole bunch of damage. Okay, he's not a, a difficult boss, but uh, he's not the easiest. Um, I'll comment on the easiest when I get there, but uh, he's very easy, but not, not quite the easiest. Alright, let's go back through here, and now we're going to actually head into Norfair and, and do a little digging in there and see what we can't get. back up here and, and just like in there we've got to uh, wall jump up out of here since we don't have the high jump boots. Wall jumping is, is the most important technique to learn if you're going to skip anything in this game. You've got to learn that first. Alright, go into this room here since it's open now and you, these guys you can kill with bombs, power bombs, or super missiles. There's a hidden energy tank up there. They hide stuff everywhere in this game, folks, so... <laughs> if you're playing without uh, any kind of guide or without him watching this, um, then... Good luck finding everything, because it's scattered. Alright. Down into Norfair. Now! This is where we're going to use our second mock ball um, in order to get the um, the ice beam early. Usually you have to have the speed booster to get the ice beam, um, but we don't. But we want the ice beam now. We don't want to have to backtrack to get it, so we're going to go ahead and get that now. So jump into the room, down, down forward, and roll into a mock ball. Aha! We made it! And normally the rooms like this without the various suit would cook you alive. Um, but it's not a big deal since we do have the uh, various suit. Okay, now this requires precise jumping. you got to jump and in midair roll into a ball to get up there. And then this, you've got a wall jump, ball, and then go in. So. Ice beam. Now a lot of a lot of um, runs and stuff, especially speed runs, will turn off the ice beam. Um, I'm just too lazy, I guess. Um, I just don't like going back and forth and switching on and off items and, and such like that. Um, it costs me some time, but I mean it's not that much time, so I don't worry too much about it. Oh great! Oh come on! There we go. Okay. Let's get out of here. Alright. And we just roll on the top here. There's a gravity block at the end that you fall through, and, and we can t continue on. Alright, now I'm also going to uh, get the high jump boots that I should have gotten before, but didn't need. Now, right at the beginning of this, there's an energy, energy tank. You want to skip that and then shoot that guy so you can open this door so you don't have to worry about him later. Because otherwise it takes a little bit more time in this room than you need, than you need to spend. So, skip the energy tank, kill him, and then come back for the door. Alrighty, and I think that's going to have to be it. 